Let's continue to nurture this bond. My sword grows dull. I'm surprised to see you training in a place like this. Even after coming to this world, you still prefer to spend your time alone. This is true. I'm sorry I got you caught up in all of this. If you hadn't been with me, you would still be back in our home world. This is not your fault. Besides, there are plenty of strong foes to fight here. It keeps things interesting. I'm glad to hear it. The allies we made here are strong. They're good people. They're reliable. Not unlike our friends back home. Tell me, Navar, when my war is over, will you leave? What makes you think I'd do that? Just a sense I have. As observant as ever. I may leave. As I thought. I'd prefer you stay with us, though. We'll still need your strength. Sita, myself, everyone in Altea. And if you're worried you'll run out of interesting fights, train as a knight. You could spend the rest of your life on the battlefield. The rest of my life is a tall order. May I ask why you would leave? If I stay in one place, needless emotions will take root in my heart. They would dull my blade. But emotions are just a part of being human. It's simply how I live. I'm a killer, nothing more. If that's how you truly feel. However, I will say this. You are no mere killer. I've never known you to turn your blade on an innocent or an ally. You fight for the protection of others. You're an irreplaceable friend. <laughs> you say that to everyone. I have no intention of leaving before your war is over. Thank you, Navar. It would be an even harder fight without you. I'll continue to fight and win, if only to see the next battle. Your strength is crucial to ensuring we all see the next battle. And when this war is over, I'd like you to consider what I said. I will. Though it's doubtful my mind will change.